it's Missy here from the Jolly Fit Elf. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, I have the second card that I mentioned in last week's Hello Bluebird Challenge video. Um, I ended up making two and I, um, I didn't really love this one. <laughs> I think it's cute, but I feel like it's missing something and you guys will hear me say that a couple of times as we go through the video. This video includes characters that were colored in the first video, so if you're interested in any of that, that video will be on the end slate, or you can just find it by going back to my channel. Uh, yeah, so I used um, the Pond Builder die that um, has been around for a while. I used the Garden Friends, the same stamp set, the same um, coloring, etc. We're just making a second card. So that's enough jibber jabber. <laughs> Let's head over to the craft table and I'll share with you how I made this second card. As I mentioned in the intro, this is the second card made using the um, little characters that I colored from last week's video. So if you're interested in watching the coloring, I will try to remember to link that in the description box down below. If not, you can find it on my channel um, or on the end slate. So I am using the Pond Builder dies from Hello Bluebird, excuse me, Bluebird for this. This was actually the first card I created for the challenge. And then I was like, man, <laughs> I wasn't in love with it. So um, I'll talk you through why when we get there. In this case, so I have a bag of scraps that I keep on my desk and I just pulled out a blue and a couple of different greens. Um, I'm going to cut out blue, which is the water green which you can see the grass on the right and then these are hedges so I'm going to go ahead and get those on to some cardstock now this doesn't cut off all the way um, it only cuts um, like it gives you a space on the bottom so you don't want to put this at the very bottom of a piece of cardstock where it won't cut and then as for the pond itself, the water, um, I kind of lined it up with that piece of paper. That is a piece of paper that measures four by five and a quarter. So I am bringing in some distress, excuse me, distressed oxides. I have um, tumble glass that I'm going to use for the water. Um, I think pine needles and peel paint. I don't know, you guys. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So as you can see there, I was cutting them away. And then I am going, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and do some ink blending. And I'm just doing it here on the actual paper. Um, so I also brought in Mermaid Lagoon. So I'm going to use Tumble Glass for the clouds, Mermaid Lagoon for the paper. And then again, um, I think this is pilled paint. I want to say this is pilled paint. I missed the lid. <laughs> I will say that I wish I'd used a different color, probably citron rather than this kind of dull um, green. I think that's kind of where my issue started was um, kind of dulled it down instead of keeping it bright and um, vibrant. And again, I'm just inking the edges and I'm just inking them because I wanted to have a little bit of differenti differentiation between the hedges, which are almost always like a cooler tone green, than grass, which is almost always a bit more warm tone. I'm just using a regular blending tool from Tim Holtz. I completely forgot that I have blending brushes. <laughs> that should tell you how long it's been since I have created cards. So I brought in a baby wipe because I was getting ink everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. So this is actually a stencil I made several years ago using the Hello Bluebird cloud die. Um, so instead of cutting die cutting clouds, I just wanted to ink blend and I just brought them down just a little bit because I don't want the clouds to be the main focus of the card. Plus my scene is going to be a little higher on the top. So with the way um, this die works, especially the water, um, you want to go ahead and use the same die to cut the bottom of whatever is bumping up against the water. That way you kind of have a shoreline and it works out beautifully. And here again, I'm just trying to place things where I want them, etc. Deciding on which animals or which critters I'm going to use and where. And again, I just really, it's a cute card. Don't get me wrong. I think it turned out really cute, but I feel like it's missing something or maybe it's just the perspective. Maybe I should have made it bigger. Maybe I should have made it 
landscape instead of portrait. I don't know. There's just something about it that didn't, um, I wasn't in love with. I am in love with that butterfly. So I started with um, yellow, then moved to orange, and then moved to pink. And I think it turned out so stinking pretty. And again, you can watch me color in the other video. So this was just a lot of <laughs> laying stuff here and there, trying to decide where I wanted things to go, etc. And that's really how it goes with all of the scene building that I do. So you can see here, once I decide that I want the hedges to be the um, kind of shoreline, I'm bringing in that die to cut around it. So I'm using Emma at Gemini. You may notice that I have black magnetic. That's because I can't find regular Gemini stuff on Amazon. So I've just been buying a no-name brand um, and they work. So if you're looking on Amazon and you're having a hard time finding it, that's that's kind of what I did. So now it's all about getting it placed where I want it, etc. And you can see there how it just fits together perfectly and gives you a shoreline. And again, and this kind of die will work on a um, landscape card as well. This actually released, I want to say this is one of their second or third releases, and it released with a little boy who was fishing. Totally cute. And I debated getting it, but I ended up not getting it. Um, you guys know me. That's not really my style, but it's really, really cute. If you just go to Hello Blue or like go to Google or Pinterest and search Hello Bluebird Pond Builder Die, you will find a ton and they're all really, really cute. So I didn't, like I said, I didn't like how grungy it looked. So I went ahead and brought in the same color I had used on the hedges um, to ink up the other side of the grass. And then I'm going to get that adhered with some tape runner and we are going to um, move on. So once I get it adhered with tape runner, I'm going to go ahead and cut off the sides and the edges just using some scissors. And then I tried to, I struggled with what color I wanted it on the background. And I knew I wanted something that would help make it pop. So I considered blue and yellow and I just didn't like the way they fit. And then I was like, well, maybe black. <laughs> So I bought in a piece of black and I was like, no, I don't really like that either. Um, and then here I am just kind of deciding where everything is going to go. Um, I didn't glue the grass down all the way. That way I would have a spot to put my little frog. I do wish this came with like lily pads or something. Um, I think that would have been fun. And maybe there's lily pads in one of my stamps and I just don't know where. So that's kind of the general layout. And like I said, I thought maybe black and black made it pop, but I didn't want something so stark. So I looked through my little bag of stamp or bag of um, remnants and I found this piece of navy. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out that piece of navy. That piece of navy measures four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And I have a white card base that measures four and a quarter by um, 11. And I've squirted at five and a half. And I just adhered that with some um, tape runner. So now I'm going to adhere my little pieces. I'm using glue dots on the little snail and the snail is going to go on the grass. And then I um, just used tape runner and a couple of glue dots for the frog. And I'm going to pop up the rest of them using some um, just little dimensionals. And I'm going to pull those off the back. Once I get these adhered, I decide that I want a sentiment. <laughs> which I wish I would have decided on earlier in the card. But I like, again, I just felt like something was missing. You guys have to let me know in the description, box, or excuse me, in the comments, what should I have added? I don't know. Like, I just, I just wasn't happy with it. I didn't love it. That's why I went ahead and added a sentiment. And here I'm like, am I going to boss a sentiment? And I was like, I really don't feel in the mood to heat and boss. And then I was like, you know what? Let's just stamp it on the grass. So again, it would have been better if I'd done this ahead of time, but I didn't. If you're going to do something like this, I highly recommend that you use either a Misty. This is a stamp, Stamparatus? Stamparatus? Is that one? Yeah, 
I think that's what it's called. From Snippin' Up. Something that way you don't mess up because if you mess up, you mess up. And here it didn't even stamp all the way. So anyway, once I get that done, then this card is done. So again, I don't, I'm not in love with it but not quite sure what it's missing. You guys will have to let me know in the comments down below. Um, as I've mentioned, if you're interested in watching me color, be sure to check out the other video. Um, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a good day, night, weekend, wherever you are. I love your faces and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.